Hey honeybees, welcome back to l and Honeycomb Homestead. So today, I just came back in from doing a nice quick harvest. I now have my whole basket good and full and I got one that's full inside of the refrigerator. Yes. Ooh, man, y'all, these cucumbers are coming fast. But I'm going to show you more of those cucumbers when we come back, okay? Okay, so as we all know, if you're just coming on to this channel and everything, I've been telling my viewers that I want to start a canon series, okay? And there will be one uh, of the episodes that's going to be coming up tomorrow, I believe, um, and pretty much showing you how to make your first little thing that's an ingredient that's going to be going towards your canning and it's called the all spice all spice recipe and that's what's going to be coming up here probably tomorrow or something like that and so today I just thought I'll come on here <clears throat> and show you um, or yesterday that's what it was yesterday that video came up yesterday, the All Spice video. Came up yesterday, so, um, or two days ago. So now I done came out here in the rain and picked some more cucumbers because I'm getting all the cucumbers rounded up because I'm gonna be making all different type of relishes. I wanna make some different melodies, you know what I'm saying? Different uh, uh, cucumber melody recipes and stuff like that. Um, and don't worry, y'all will see all those as well, too, in the canning field. Now, some of them might not even be in the book, and some of them might be in the book. So, we're going to be just doing a bunch of, a lot of things that we can make with the cucumbers, okay, while we were running this series, okay? Drop my hand so that way you can see what I got in store over here, okay? So, as you can see, I have a whole lot of things going on a lot of goodies and good freshness and what i'm doing is i'm going through this basket i was able to harvest some more peppers and i got the last of the squash that i have over here and so i'm going through my basket because i've been sitting here collecting a room and um putting stuff in this basket until i get everything pretty much harvested and i've been keeping it fresh and everything like that so that way we can um work together when it comes to this canon series okay so i'm just taking things out of this basket as you can see i'm going to give you a good up close so you can see what's going on yes and uh, that way you'll know i still got some more of this butternut squash producing out here but uh like i said i got the last of the um squash because I'm getting ready to start my fall gardening. So we're just getting all these cucumbers and stuff ready. I got to get them washed, diced, and um, and everything like that. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot of cucumbers. But And then I was able to get this, this bundle today of cucumbers. Um, I also picked some of the green tomatoes that was out there. Because some of those green tomatoes are are um called for in the recipe as well so yeah i thought i'd move you over here on this angle so you see i already got my jars ready sanitized and all that good jazz i got some quart jars that are wide mouth and i also have me some pint jars that are wide mouth so um yeah so i'm just getting everything ready and prepared so that way when the video gets ready to come out and when I'm going to do it and things like that, I also will be prepared. So like I said, right now, y'all need to start rinding up your uh, jars and getting all your cucumbers and getting them ready as well. Because that's what I'm doing. And then I will be able to tell you then, hey, let's get started. So like I said, here are some of the cucumbers that I was able to harvest up. And um, I'm very pleased with the harvest that we was able to get. And I'm just sorting off from the biggest to smallest because there is a lot of these small ones, as you can see. 
and I do want to have little recipes for those little ones as well as you can see and um and just get 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 it popping y'all we gotta get it popping so i gotta wash all these cucumbers and and get them ready to go i mean because it's a lot of them and i don't want nothing to go bad and like i said i showed you the other little basket and all that and zucchini i was able to get that that's the black beauty um they did really good as well too um I was just eating them like crazy. But uh, there's a lot of those. Some more of these squash and stuff. Um, so, yeah, some of the tomatoes. So there's a lot going on in this basket. As you can see that I did do these as well. Um, but I got a whole lot. I got another basket in the refrigerator. Uh, don't get it twisted, it's a lot. And so, um, yeah, it's a lot going on. I was able to get some more peppers harvested. Um, I also have uh, some big poblano peppers as well. I was able to harvest those. And like I said, the uh, butternut squash, I got a lot of them growing out there now. So um, I will be um, eating on those and having some recipes for them as well. But as you can see, this is just part of what's going on. I'm getting everything sorted, getting everything ready for the relish series, okay? Like I had told y'all before, you can get overwhelmed, but don't overwhelm yourself. You can do so much, you know what I'm saying? You can only do so much, so just take your time. When you start harvesting little things like cucumbers and stuff like that, and when it's raining like it's been and everything, this is the time that you can come in, get all your stuff together, start prepping everything and just make that a canning day make that a canning day if you don't know any recipes off top if you don't have a ball book right off top look how i learned i went on youtube okay i went on youtube and i learned i went on google i learned a whole lot of stuff by reading and researching and just following those instructions in there okay that's how i learned you know what i'm saying so that's why I want to start this canning series so that way we can show step by step what you can do, how to do it, how to do all of that that's asking as far as in canning, the basics and the for beginners because I've been to it for two years, for two years and I was able to can up a whole lot of stuff. So now that I got me a nice size garden and getting ready to go out to the homestead, y'all, you can imagine how much that harvest is going to be. I'm going to be one canning mama. So in the meantime, with all these cucumbers that I have right now, I'm storing them out. I'm going through the recipe book. I'm putting the stuff together so that way I can show you how to make these recipes. And it will be soon. That's why I'm telling you the video that's going to be coming up. It's going to be showing you all it's, it's going to show it's going to show you how to make the all spice recipe okay it's going to show you how to make that that's the first thing that was on that page so that was just something simple it's not got nothing to do with canning you're not canning it you're not doing that you're making you up some all spice okay because some of these recipes are asking for this particular uh spice recipe to go into your canning and if you don't have the money and you pretty much have all those uh supplies up there on your shelf this is a quick a quick uh setup okay so make sure you watch that video and i'm gonna make sure that uh before i start doing this canning video the first recipe will be the corn relish before i even get started on that i'm gonna let you know what day and what days from that uh we're gonna be doing the canning okay that you get all the stuff that you need to get or you're working on getting together and everything. I'm glad that you're doing that because now that you see, I'm doing it. I'm not just saying go on and do that and no, we're doing this together. I told you this, we're doing it together. So now that you're out here getting your stuff ready, getting all your seasonings and all the stuff that you need to get ready, you know, for the allspice, I will tell you what you need for the first canning recipe. And if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, the traditional corn relish is gonna make up five pints 
okay? Five pints for this recipe. It's gonna make up five pints, okay? So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need nine cups of frozen corn kernels. It needs to be thawed out, okay? You're gonna need nine cups of that. You're gonna need three cups of finely chopped cabbage, okay? You're gonna need one cup of finely chopped onion, one cup of finely chopped seeded red bell pepper, four cups of white vinegar, and you're gonna need three cups of granulated sugar. You're gonna need one cup of water, two tablespoons of dry mustard, one tablespoon of mustard seeds, one tablespoon of salt, and one tablespoon of ground turmeric, okay? That's what you're gonna need for this recipe. The traditional corn relish recipe is gonna make up five pints, okay? Now, if you want more, then you're gonna to have to double the recipe. But this recipe right here is gonna make five pints, okay? Five pints. With this, you're gonna need you a stainless steel saucepan. You're gonna need a big pan, a, a big pan of that, okay? A big saucepan, all right? You're gonna combine all those ingredients inside this saucepan. You're gonna bring it to a boil. You're gonna stir it periodically because you don't want your corn or nothing else to burn, okay? You don't want none of that to burn, okay? And then, um, and then you're gonna reduce the heat and you're gonna set it simmer for 25 minutes. In the meantime, while all this is going on, you're gonna be having your water bath there. All these recipes that I'm going to give you is going to be a water bath recipe, okay? They're going to all originate with water bathing, okay? So that way you'll know it's water bath. We're not pressure canning anything just at this point. We're going to just do water bathing, okay? So make sure you have you a nice big saucepan to combine all those in to be able to start this recipe, okay? So again, when I come on, and now I'm telling you, I'm making sure everything is in point, on point, so that way everything can be going smoothly. Because you want to have everything at your reach when you are canning. You don't want to be running around here. You want to have everything pretty much organized, okay? You want everything organized. I'm going to read these ingredients to you again, and that way it gives you enough time to go out and get um, the things that you need for this recipe, okay? And that will be, again some frozen corn kernels, because you're gonna need nine cups of the frozen corn kernels, and you want that to be thawed out, okay? You're gonna need three cups of finely chopped cabbage. You need one cup of finely chopped onion. You're gonna need one cup of finely chopped seeded red bell pepper, four cups of white vinegar, uh, three cups of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of dry mustard, one tablespoon of mustard seeds, one tablespoon of salt, and one tablespoon of ground turmeric, okay? I will have those ingredients in the bottom of the description so that way you'll have it and that way you can read it and you can write it down and all those good things. And that's all the ingredients for this traditional corn relish, five pints of it, okay? Now that you know that we got that going on and everybody's going out to go get those ingredients, okay? I'm giving you about a week's tops, okay? A week. Yes, a week. And I'm thinking about doing this video series on a Thursday, okay? So that'll give you time to sit here and think of a better plan or whatever. But I, I'm making the days for canning to be on Thursday. So canning is Thursdays, okay? Thursday canning day at the LNL Honeycomb Homestead, okay? 500 subscribers! <laughs> yes! 500! 500!
for coming to LNL Honeycomb Homestead. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did, and I want to thank everyone. Thank you, everyone, for our 500 subscribers. I am so happy. Oh, y'all, I'm so happy. So happy. You know what that means? That means I can probably go on live right now. Yes. <laughs> so excited so when we get ready to do this up i'm gonna hit the live button just to see just to see y'all thank you 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 so thank you for coming to lnl honeycomb homestead hey you already know the drill like comment and subscribe okay those three things and remember have a wonderful wonderful Bless day. Bye bye.